This is the Behind the Line podcast, and this is Pacific Northwest Headline News in three minutes for Wednesday, March 23rd, 2022. Well, as the shootings and crime wave continue in Seattle and the King County area, Seattle's new mayor, Bruce Harrell, has decided to back down on a plan to crack down on disorderly conduct within 25 feet of transit stops along 3rd Avenue. This was set to take effect last week, but put on hold the day before. Police had planned to begin using the city's criminal code regulating disorderly conduct on buses in the area, which includes a broad range of activities such as smoking, playing loud music, littering, drinking alcohol, loud, ruckus, and harassing behavior, gambling, and any other conduct that is inconsistent with the intended use and purpose of the transit facility, transit station, or transit vehicle. Something that is desperately needed on 3rd Avenue and many other places in the city. But the mayor's office said they put the idea on hold to allow more time to reset norms and to evaluate what enforcement strategy is most appropriate and effective. Andrew Lewis, the Seattle City Council member whose district is the downtown corridor, said he prefers a long-term strategy of either pursuing felony cases or referring individuals to Just Care, a program that works to get people who cycle through the legal system into supportive housing. He said he doesn't want to make a bunch of quick, easy enforcement cases, but the reality is misdemeanor enforcement isn't enough to get these guys to change up their act. Well, you got to start somewhere, Mr. Council Member and Mr. Mayor. But as per, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing because that's working so well. To go along with this, the Seattle Police Department Strategic Plan 2022 was presented to the City Council Committee on Tuesday morning. The plan proposes a deep dive into community policing more time spent training cadets, and finding ways to respond to some calls that don't involve an armed officer. Chief Diaz says it goes beyond community policing to something the chief refers to as relational policing. He said in practice this means SPD sharing more with the community and taking the lead from the community. The police department continues to be vastly understaffed. Even with recent hires, there are over 200 Fewer officers today than before the pandemic, which is crippling response times for 911 calls. Once again, it's a lot of talk and not much action to take care of the actual problems that are happening now on the ground. And Washington State Governor Jay Inslee this morning signed two bills aiming to reduce gun violence. One bill, HB 1630, restricts firearms in certain locations like school board meetings, city council meetings, and election offices. The second bill, SB 5078, bans large capacity magazines that hold more than 10 rounds of ammunition, which this article claims are frequently used in mass shootings. Uh Uh-huh. Because people can't reload smaller magazine firearms, right? Both of these bills are a joke, criminals don't follow laws, and these will do nothing to reduce firearm deaths, unfortunately. This has been Pacific Northwest Headline News in 3 Minutes. For more, visit BehindTheLinePodcast.com. Thanks for listening.